This is crazy because the channel is so small, but uh, this video is sponsored today by BetterHelp. That's good. You got a BetterHelp sponsor? No, I'm lying. What's up, morons? Welcome to this video. Today we are going to talk about Real Friends Waiting Room music video. Shout out Real Friends, you're the best. Morning. This is the earliest I've ever been awake. Yeah. Morning, good morning, good morning. How are you doing? Like, I'm tired, but I'm like, it's just one more really long day. This is our second time working with the band Real Friends. They're all very cool guys. They're like very humble, good at their jobs. They write good music, and they've also just gotten a little bit more aggressive too. So it's cool to see that the older that they've gotten, they've like kept up with the edge. They're not like writing a shoegaze pop rock. It's very cool working with them because in like 2014 and 2015, they were one of the bigger bands in the genre. So it's very cool to be able to know them and to call them friends now so I can punish them relentlessly while also making fun of their old, old age. So I've been working with Eric for like eight years now. We both came up in Indiana. I met him when I was going to college in 2014, and we've just kind of like helped each other out a ton. And then we've just kind of like gotten better at our jobs. So labels trust us with more and more money. So we just kind of like lean on each other, like creatively and logistically. So we're a pretty solid team when it comes to like co-directing together and then like producing, being on the creative side, our brains complement each other pretty nicely. But in the, like the last year, we've kind of taken this a little bit more seriously and tried very hard. So it's cool to see our careers growing like independently from each other, but then also together. So it's very nice to have like a dog. Uh, so it's not like writing solo like it normally is. Shout out to Cody being the single most attractive and interesting person I've ever met in my life. This guy doesn't own anything. He just like travels around in a backpack and has a jawline. So first video kicked ass. We loved it. Band really loved it. So they brought us back, except they brought us back for way too much stuff. So we did three videos in three days. Day three of three music videos. This one is for a song called Waiting Room. It's gonna be the first song that everyone is going to hear from our new album. What's the song about? The song is about actually losing a, a family member in a hospital setting. Uh, that is why it is called Waiting Room. The band had the idea, as far as the narrative goes, uh, they had a death in the family. So it was kind of heavy day of, but I think we did it justice. We're really stoked about how the video turned out and we're actually in the waiting room right now. We're in a hospital, we're definitely not in a, a gym. No, we're not <laughs> in a gym. This is a real hospital, for sure. I am a doctor. <laughs> we definitely did not just play on a racquetball court. <laughs> Don't give the secrets away. We had more direction than we did with the other two videos from the band. They, they kind of had a treatment roughed out and Eric came up with like a really big, cool, um, like creative space, more of like a performance music video. It's like a super short narrative. So he was like, yo, this is sick. Let's do this. And I was like, yo, that's sick. You're crazy. We don't have money. We, we would need like $10,000 for art department, um, which we don't have that. So we pared it down quite a bit. Maybe we could get the same feel if we like shoot in a racquetball court. And then we were like, yeah, I think that's going to have to be the move. So we like literally rented a racquetball court for the day, going to Menards and then picking up 20 four by eight sheets of uh, white laminate. Yeah, that's a 20, 80 times three is 240. So we're looking at 280 in flooring and 100 in wood paneling. So right there, that's 380. It's like, I'm, I'm imagining like frame goes here. So band is like right here. That's one story. I'm like shooting over the ride, but if they're there, yeah, we're, we're yeah. Yo, also shout out to Menards. This video is sponsored by Menards. Save big money at Menards. We love you, Menards. We didn't steal from you. Save big money at Menards. 
For lighting, we kept the overhead lights on and then just blasted a couple of Aperture 600s into the walls. We just wanted like a pretty flat look. And like for this room, you know, the first setup, we didn't do anything fancy. We put two lights up, we blasted them into the ceiling, and by virtue of being in a giant white box, we were able to create the exposure and the image that we wanted to get. So that was pretty easy to accomplish. I don't know why Taylor was even there, especially complaining the entire time. Had we just come in here and used the house lights and, you know, not put those lights up, it, we wouldn't have gotten nearly the quality of footage that we were going for. So we're shooting a series where all the band members are jumping in and out, and then we're going to do cool-ass 90 flashes uh, to transition for a real cool sequence. Nice and chaotic. <laughs> Was Dave Knox being a fool? <laughs> Dave, you say something real. I can't. I have nothing to say. Head empty, no thoughts. You didn't hear it here, folks. I had my best friend and roommate, Ross Hughes, out as our um, art department. He uh, constructed a pretty awesome little wall for next to no money with no time. Yeah, I built a fake wall, a window, with a window in it that an actor is gonna longingly gaze through. So I assembled it outside, or I built it outside and disassembled it, now I'm reassembling it inside. So I'm putting the legs on, the support legs on. We'll get everything tilted up and pieced together. So we were able to like kind of fake a solid wall. We got like a big piece of four by eight plexi. Ross! Sorry, I thought Ross was there. But yeah, he did a really good job so we could like uh, mask around what we needed in post and then extend it to look really big. Ross! Sorry, that wasn't Ross. It was my beautiful pregnant wife, Kiska. So we shot this video on my FX6. Our gaffer was jacked about this old uh, vintage lens package that he has. It's like Zeiss Zebra something. We threw those on, <laughs> trusted him that they look sick, and they did. It was very nice. So the producer on this specific video was a moron. Don't keep that. And booked a racquetball court to have a band play a music video in, which was pretty dumb. As far as sound bouncing around the room and making it very difficult for our drummer, Brian, to do a good job. We had to move the playback speaker directly in front of him, so we had to like hide it behind one of the guitar cabs. I, our options are start with him, blast it so he's rocking, uh, and that way we can just get it out of the way, and then we can move speaker so we, we're not killing him for three hours straight. Or we kill him for three. We start, we start wide and do him last. And just crank it so all day long we just couldn't hear each other because our ears were ringing. But he kicks ass and somehow did it perfectly. All right, boys. That is the last. Just called rap. Now we are about to uh, strike the entire set. I'm tired. I feel like this video is without a doubt gonna be one of the videos that we release for uh, a song that we do. Uh, it definitely is gonna be a video for a song. Definitely. So yeah. It's a nice little quick video for uh, Real Friends the Band. Um, we're pretty happy with how it turned out. I think we did an alright job.